Hot now 37 Buckton Reg, man. Hey, Reg, it's Men's Health Month, man. Okay. You taking care of yourself? Uh, to the best of my ability. You been to the ch- get a checkout lately? I, uh, I I get checked out normally. I, I do. I try to stay up on it. Well, we got Dr. Vong Dang on the phone right now. Good morning. How you doing, sir? Good. How you guys doing, sir? Pretty good, man. Men's Month, man. Tell me, uh, how how regularly should we get checkups as men? Uh, at the very least, once a year for your regular physical. Once a year? At the very least. That's it. So if you don't have any symptoms of, of anything or you're not feeling, uh, you know, any type of way, just make sure you get your yearly physical? Yeah, because the yearly physical is really preventative. Even if you're feeling fine, you just come in, get your blood work done, come talk to your physician, and just get your whole health checked out. Um, doctor, as far as we get older, we can't exercise the way we used to exercise when we were kids. We can't lift all the weights and do all that. What type of activity should we be doing to stay in shape? So you don't have to do anything super intense, but staying active is important. Even doing going for a light walk, um, you know, if you can swim, doing stuff in the pool is really good. All that's very low impact. Too. Okay, and when we talk about physical health, tra- talking about how important it is for the mental health uh, for men. So, mental health is really important for men because statistically, men are more likely to become depressed or use more um, dangerous means. Men are more likely to use uh, dangerous means if they were more in a, like, a darker place or something like that. But uh, so it's important for men to really uh, connect with others and have a good support network. Uh, in the home with friends, socially. Okay. Now, you want to raise awareness about the health issues um, specific to, to the men. I mean, ladies have their own issues. They have a lot. But men have a lot of issues that we have to worry about, too. And you, you're with Full Health, am I correct? Yeah, Full Health Physicians in Southington. What are you seeing as far as um, men, um, what we are not doing right now, we should be doing more of? Really, it's just coming into the office. I have dozens of men who are in their like, 50s or 60s who haven't seen a provider in the last 10, 20 years. And they all come in telling me the same thing about how they feel fine, but they're coming in because their wife made them or a family member made them. Um, it's just really important that you come in at least once a year to keep your health in check and to stay on top of things. Now, as men, we always feel like, I can take the pain. This will go away by itself. Yeah. You know, this is this is just temporary. Should we think like that? No. So a lot of things, you know, can start to brew underneath and get out of the hand really quickly. And even though you may feel fine, that's not always true on the inside. Mm. And that's equally as important to mental health. All right. So um, it says here, according to the National Center for Health uh, Statistics, the life expectancy is lower for American males, which is estimated at 76.2 years uh, than it is for women, which is at 81.2 years. How do you guys come up with these statistics? Um, so they, I don't personally know how they come up with the statistics, but they look at kind of the decisions that men make, and they tend to make, quite frankly, either more dumb decisions or risky decisions in terms of their health. Um, they're more likely to put themselves at risk or not seek care. Um, if they get injured, they're more likely to stuff it out. They're more likely not to care about their mental health state, and that can lead to other issues down the line. All right, now, should someone uh, someone listening right now, they want to take that first step. Um, they should just call and make an appointment, call their local, um, their, their doctor. What should they do? Yeah, uh, you know, picking up the phone, making an appointment, getting on the schedule, that's the first step, and then walking in and getting there. All right. What do you think is the uh, biggest uh, reason that men do not get checked out or don't get, go see their doctors as much? You know, I think it has a lot to do with multiple things. I think the one of them is being that they want to feel tough or they feel like they can just wait things out or it's not a big deal. Yeah. They tend to minimize a lot of things. And, um, you know, once they stop feeling sick or hurt or whatever it is, they feel like it's okay. We can just put this on the back burner. We feel like we're Superman sometimes. We all feel like we're Superman. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, essentially. Doctor, thanks for calling. We definitely appreciate it. Any other information you want to let the people know about? 
Uh, I just want to reiterate to everybody, you know, coming in for the yearly physical is super important. Uh, staying safe during the, the upcoming holiday, drinking responsibly, wearing sunblock when you're outside. Uh, Real quick, um, did the age change uh, to get a colonoscopy? Uh, yes, it, it was lowered recently to 45. Okay, yeah, because it was at 50, right? It was at 50. And is it is it a reason for that? Um, 